Peace and goodness be with you. To the honorable judges and to you, dearly beloved brothers and sisters, it is a distinct honor for me to take the stage to address something intriguing, something reflective. It's about us teenagers. It's about our impact on society. But beforehand, bear in mind that some statements which I'm going to make may instill disagreements among us because we might not view the world the same way as one another. Even so, we cannot discredit some members or even the whole community. It's not our thing. For we attain the same goal, same vision, the same miss mission for the greater good of ourselves and for the loved ones of whom we love most. Affirmation as an answer is qu quite obvious because we can all agree that teenagers are developing powerhouse for developing civilization. However, we can't just end this speech this way. So let's ask a question. Are we thinking too far? Can we disagree on this topic anyway? Teenagers are known for their strong impacts. Whatever, you can name them all, from technological innovations to social phenomena and offsprings of uprisings, they shake the world. However, the term shake the world can be interpreted to many things. Number one, it can be interpreted to that we set the world to an emerging development forward. Or number two, we set the world into the lake of fire, into destruction and crumbling ruins. So let's get it straight. Think of today's generation. This generation were born at the times of rapid development. From advanced technology to advanced intelligence to advanced science, everything is running so fast that we can't catch to it. One third of the 8 billion people living on this earth consists of us kids and teens spread around the world. We grew up with these developments, we grew up with these technologies and we set trends with them. However, as time passed by, we went on from being the generation of cyberspace, of internet, of flying cars, whatever futuristic visions that you, might can, that you can think of, it all takes place in this generation. But how can we go from that to become the generation of immoral, of irresponsible ideas and lax mindset? How come? I believe that you might also think the same way. You have had enough of all these things, but you forced yourself to get over it and to live with it. We can't force everyone to think of their future because it all goes back to their capacity to think of their world today. And if we think back of our traits, being a rebel against the odds, of being, uh, to dare against anything that is contemporary, that does not justify the do what thou wilt attitude that is alive among us and living under the auspices of audacities of anarchy and apathy. But isn't this phenomenon familiar enough for you? I mean, isn't it, doesn't it take place back in the past too? Obviously, I know. It is not a common secret that back in the times as all generations aged to adolescence, we entered a phase of life so popular for everybody. Yet it fades so fast from the hindsight. Let's not just think of the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever. Think of today's kids. Today's kids are known for singing no so generic songs, wearing generic clothes, aspiring generic visions and missions. They pretend to live at peace with everyone. Yet, under the auspices of oppression, they operate the same based on revenge against the past of which they have nothing to do with. 
Again, is this the generation of cyberspace and flying cars and all that? Is this the generation that we're up to? We're dealing with? Let's contemplate. Ever since the world is created, we are not seen as a target audience. We are not seen as a social construct that can be twisted and abused by a group of people for the sake of their profit, for the sake of the profit of someone else. We are seen as a subject. We are seen as a person deservedly given the right to think of anything that's best for you. We can be anything, we can do anything, we can, we, can go on, we can go on our way. Just like the great bands once say. You can go your own way. However, we have a principle. Through that principle, we can make history. We can make anything. And that principle shall be our bottom line of which we shall drew as we conclude. We aspire and inspire for the future not to rebel and gamble against the past. We lead by our deed. We do not resist. We do not twist and resist. This is what we shall declare. This is what we shall profess with assent. This is our aspiration that even a lazy person with a mental crossroads can relate to. And therefore, at Thanksgiving, I give to you who hearkened through the depths with me. An apology I may send for you who might have witnessed my misdeeds. Great peace I long when peace shall dwell. So a so long shall be my farewell. I'm Herald Masharanus Tiyabudi Sinaga signing off. May peace and goodness be with you all.